Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I want to show you how to use your financial calculator to calculate things like net present value, internal rate of return, uh, even the uh, payback period can be done if you have the uh, BA2 Plus professional version. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Of course, you know the net present value, the internal rate of return are ways to evaluate investments to know whether or not they're profitable and whether or not they should be invested in. So our first investment is a new machine that would cost us $100,000 up front, but would generate $15,000 per year in the first three years and $20,000 in each of years four through 10. Our cost of capital is 10% should we buy this machine. So we're gonna find the net present value and the internal rate of return to make this decision. I've listed our cash flows out here in, uh, in kind of cash flow format. So year zero, negative 100,000, that's the outflow, followed by all the inflows. Now what I wanna do is take this information and feed it into the calculator. To do that, you wanna start by pressing the cash flow button and you can see that I've got something stored in here. This is from the last time I used it. Good habit would be once you get into here, to press second clear, like that, you know, you're starting from scratch. So I always have that habit, cash flow, second clear, no matter what. Now we want to enter our first cash flow, which is negative 100,000. So we'll write 100,000 negative. Then press enter always to save it. Otherwise the calculator doesn't save it. Once you've saved it, you can scroll down and enter your first cash flow. Now our first cash flow after that would be 15,000. So 15,000. Once again, enter, now we're down. Now instead of having to enter 15,000 three times, you could just enter 15,000 once, and then F stands for frequency, say, okay, well, I'm getting that three times in a row. So the frequency is really just how many times in a row you're getting that particular payment. Now we're down again. Now I'm at 20,000. So remember, because you put that frequency of three, you've essentially skipped over those three years. 20,000, and you're going to receive that seven times. So now we're down, seven, enter. So you've entered all the cash flows into the calculator, now it's time to actually do the math. So first for net present value, all you need to do is press the net present value button right beside cash flow. And the first thing is I, I for interest, I guess. So this is where you enter your discount rate, your cost of capital, your opportunity cost, whatever you call it. In our case, our cost of capital is 10%, so 10, enter, now we're down. And now from here, you wanna press compute and you have your net present value. So in the case of our investment, our net present value is 10,457. Here's my present value. And given that it's positive, this is a profitable investment. So if you're basing your decision on net present value, you would say that this is something that you should invest in. Now, if instead of wanting the net present value, you wanted the internal rate of return, instead of pressing NPV, you just press IRR. And you can go ahead and do that right now, IRR. And again, you need to press compute. So we get an internal rate of return of 12 point, roughly 23%. And again, if you're basing your decision on the internal rate of return, Again, you would decide that this is a good investment because this exceeds your cost of capital. The investment's return is higher than the cost of the money you would have to put into it. Now, for those of you on a VA2 Professional Plus, if you go back to net present value, so press net present value in the calculator, and then you already entered your interest rate, and you scroll down a few times. So once is NPV, go down again, it's net future value. We're not really interested in that. Now, if you go to PV, that's the payback period, and press compute. You have a payback period of 5.75 years. That means it would take you 5.75 years to recover your initial investment. And then if you went down one more time to VPV, this is your discounted payback period, compute, 8.68. So in discounted terms, meaning using present values, it would take you almost nine years to get back your initial investment. So it's very, very easy to do. Um, you know, this can be applied to any investment where you can estimate the future cash flows. Now, this was kind of a straightforward one where you had uh, one outflow at the beginning followed by a bunch of inflows, what we would call a conventional cash flow. Now, an unconventional cash flow would be one where you had another outflow later on. What if we added this element to this investment, where at the end of the fifth year, you would need to spend $40,000 on maintenance? Well, if you look at my cash flow in the fifth year, my net cash flow ends up being negative $20,000. I have the $20,000 inflow that I'm receiving minus the $40,000 that I would have to spend. So all you need to do here is basically repeat the same process, but you're going to break up your cash flows. You've got one, right? That would be C1. Then C2 would be this one just once. This would be C3. And then you would have your C4, your cash flow four or five times. So let's try that. Cash flow, second clear. Once again, just happy to have it, get rid of it. 100,000, negative, enter. Down, 15,000, enter, down three times, enter. So by now you've entered your $15,000 cash flow three times. Now I'm going to receive 20,000 once. So by default it's set to one, you don't need to change it. So skip past that. 20,000 negative enter one time. So again, we're gonna skip past this. 
twenty thousand again. Enter down five times. Enter. So now I'm going to enter all my cash flows. And then depending on what you want, if you want net present value, go to net present value. Enter your discount rate. In our case, it's ten percent. Down to here. So now that one outflow in the fifth year caused your net present value to drop to negative fourteen thousand, making this no longer a profitable investment. The internal rate of return, if I press IRR compute, 6.76, below our 10% discount rate or cost of capital. Again, not a good investment. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, if you're not sure how to do something on your calculator, leave a comment. Uh, I'll read it, reply to it, and uh, we'll work through it. Uh, stay tuned for another video, and I'll see you guys soon.